Hi traders, this is Cynthia of Day Trade Forex bringing you a short introductory and training video for the new Easy Color Trend and Flat Advanced Trading System. And this is a pound US dollar in the 30 minute chart. And I just want to go through the chart with you to show how the advanced system works and why I think it, it, that some of these indicators in the advanced system are so important. First of all, this was Friday 5 p.m. Eastern time when the new trading day started. The box is still blue from the previous day. However, you can see the signal line for the MACD is crossed below the zero line and is down below the zero line so you would not consider taking any long trades and you have some gray flat bars here also but basically the main thing is that the signal line is below the zero line so here you have your first possible buy entry when the signal line crossed above the MACD all of the colors agreed here so I can drop a green line in here to show that this is a perfect buy entry now here you go into some change of trend and some flatness the MACD never did get very strong and here it actually crossed below the zero line so you possibly would have exited here I know I would have exited here especially after you receive the early reversal arrow but then everything turns red and the flat gray bar appears and then the trend bars turn red so you probably wouldn't have gained very much here if you'd gotten in at the very beginning and gotten out right around here that's 13 pips so probably you may have gained 10 pips if you exited your next buy entry was well you wouldn't have had a buy entry in here because all of the colors are mixed the SAR dots are red and uh, the MACD is very flat so none of the indicators agree so this is all range bound consolidation area that's pretty easy to identify then you have a big blue buy arrow however the SAR dot is still on top and it's and you have a gray flat bar and the, the indicator for the MACD doesn't cross until a little bit later so even though you would see all of these things you would get ready for a buy trade and actually enter on this bar you can see the close of the previous bar is the same as the opening of the bar that you would actually enter but now you have perfect confirmation that it's a really strong buy trade the RSI is at the 50 line and turned up the MACD signal line has crossed the zero line everything is green everything the box is blue this is a perfect buy entry this is right here at the London Open this is like three and a half hours ago and that's always when the volatility really picks up if it's possible for you to trade that then that's fantastic because you have the best trading conditions and now it's 8 30 in the morning almost for me central standard time and we're experiencing a pullback and this early reversal arrow showed an hour and a half ago so that was the high for the morning and then the New York session open and the and the price is falling back a little bit so it's retracing now it's retraced back if you look at the Fibonacci values here on the right hand side everything is green it means we're in an uptrend it hasn't identified exactly that we're in a retracement however we can see the price is pulling back and it's already pulled back to the 23.6 Fibonacci line and that's a very slight shallow retracement that's normal profit taking and if you look down here the RSI is overbought and has turned magenta and we have a flat trend bar and the MACD is turned down so really we don't know at this point how deep this retracement might go and if you wanted to stay in the trade instead of taking your profit right here which was approximately let's see if we had gotten in here and gotten out here that's 45 pips and if you want to stay in the trade for a possible resumption of 
uptrend, what you could do is take a partial trade close here and then just wait it out and then jump in if it starts to go up again, which it, it will, I'm sure. And the reason I know that is because this is your solid magenta line here that is a major key level at 1.3000. That's and all of this price has stayed right above this major key line. So this trend was very strong to the upside. However, it's very flat. So it's just a consolidation area. When the London session opened, then the strength of the uptrend became significant and pushed up very quickly just in an hour and a half to the day high right here. But this dashed line up here is the next major key level at 1.3100. So that's 100 pips between this major key level and this major key level. So I believe that after this short retracement that it will push to the upside and I can enter with another long trade when after this retracement and it starts to go back to the upside. So I'll be keeping my eye out for this to happen. And uh, so if you can follow along in a chart like this, even if you weren't awake at the London Open to take advantage of this, I love trading pullbacks and this is a perfect pullback situation because we hit a day high, it's pulling back now and if we keep our eye on it, it'll probably go back to the upside. The strong push is always in the early hour mornings, but um, this push to the upside will be slower and longer and not as strong, but you can still play it if you're a patient trader. And if you need to jump down to the 15 minute time frame to get a better earlier entry, that's okay too. I'm just going to watch and see how far this actually pulls back. Right now it's sitting at the 23.6 Fibonacci level and if it pulls back to the 38.2 level then that's a, that's a deeper pullback and I know the push forward will be stronger when the trend resumes to the upside. But as long as this price stays above the signal line here and stays above the SAR and the box stays blue, all of this can drop down and then when we see the MACD fall below the signal line and cross back up again, just check to see that all of your uh, other indicators are color coordinated and blue or green for a new buy entry. So that's how you can use the Fibonacci retracement tool as a predictive tool. It's a price prediction tool. It's, it's really the only price prediction tool available to us. And I love trading the retracements. It's perfect for traders who can't get in on the very beginning of a new major trend. And if you know how to watch the retracements and you know how to use the Fibonacci tool, which after watching it and using it for a while, it becomes very simple, then you're going to have trade opportunities even after a big major push. Thanks very much for watching. That's just a, a no, more information on how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool in the advanced easy color trend and flat system.